Big Blue Nation has arrived in Nashville. They are taking over the town and taking over the building. They won the very first SEC tournament in 1933, and their goal is to win this one. Cats take the floor for the first time. Sit back, enjoy Kentucky and Texas A&M with a semifinal spot on the line in Nashville. Ogana Onyenso wins a tip. DJ Wagner controls the offense for the Cats, second in the nation, nearly 90 points a game. They got a three-headed monster, including Obaski with the ball to complement the other two guards. He has been aggressive. Nobody touched it. Obaski just moved in the starting lineup a few games ago, and he splashes down his first attempt. Well, second chance points is what AM lives off of. That is a huge part of their offense. Coming off a 25-point game. Here's Piero. He's been playing with that bandaged left thumb. For about a week, Reeves fires from three. And Wilden's Levesque pulls down the rebound. Wade Taylor fires from deep. Got it! What a start for AM. If they're going to be aggressive, they best not miss. This kid loves the big stage. He's built for moments like this. 31 in the previous matchup with six threes in Aggieland. And a Kentucky turnover. Taylor gets past Edwards. Fancy move and banks it in. And a timeout taken by John Calipari. And then they always have a helper on the baseline. You're not going to get this pass. And Solomon Washington just sits all over it. They kick it ahead in transition where they don't do a lot of this pushing, but they'll be opportunistic. And Wade Taylor, always the aggressor. Boots Radford finds Anderson. Not an offensive threat except going to the glass. And gets that one rejected by Onyenso. Kentucky third in the country in block percentage. Chance to push. Here's Piero. Went to the floor. Taylor scrapping for it. It ends up in the hands of Wagner. And now Reeves is open. Bang! Antonio Reeves. I mean, this is when Kentucky fans get excited because of the instant impact these guys have off the bench. Here's Solomon Washington, and he's rejected second block of the game for the Cats. The arrow doing the honors that time. He's changed their identity defensively. Maybe they're not as good on the offensive end because you can't spread out with as many shooters, but he holds his own down low, does the arrow with him and Onyenso coming along with the rim protection. They've been much better. Taylor from the corner, off the baseline out of bounds, and he's got eight of AM's 11. Dillingham from Reeves. Got it. Forty-five percent from deep on the season for Rob Dillingham. Radford gives it up. Wants it back. Will fire. Here we go. We got a shootout brewing in Nashville. Sounds like Rupp. And an AM turnover. Washington left alone. And Shepard knocks it back with the steal. First bucket for Reed Shepard tonight. And then the turnovers. Wow, the quick hands by Reed Shepard. The amount of deflections and live ball turnovers he's able to get. Dillingham's head fake cleared some space, and now Mitchell keeps it alive. And with the left hand, the Cats have the lead. Taylor guarded by Shepard. Out to Washington. And he drains it. Salomon Washington with the three. The secondary defender coming over that's essentially been eliminated from the charge opportunities. Obaski gets all the way to the rim. Shepard gets another look from three and drills this one. He grew up. Coming to this event, of course, his dad played here, and he grew up a huge Kentucky fan, not only the most outstanding player of the Final Four, but also a dad who brought his, game, his kid to Kentucky games in the regular season and the tournament. Good block by Bradshaw, but Hefner cleans it up. We'll see if AM stays in that zone again. If they do, they better locate shooters because this is not the same Kentucky team a year ago. Shepard again! Like you got to get out of it now. They fell asleep on the couch in the suite. They didn't wake up till 2 in the morning. The whole arena was empty.
Is Taylor for three. That's one way to take it, and that's getting the most out of your ticket, I believe. Shepard finds Edwards, and now to Wagner. Good. DJ Wagner. To Edwards. Blew the bunny, and it's ripped out of there by Henry Coleman the third. Obasaki to Radford. Hard to the rim, and the layup's good. AM extends its lead to six. Do we have some athletes on the court or what? I mean, how quick did AM get that ball up the court for the easy two? Kentucky must get back in transition. Calipari screaming instructions on yet, so he wanted the ball screen for Shepard, whose floater goes. That is a tough shot for a guy that will be a lottery pick, and that was not expected. Once he came in from the 606 in the summer and just fading to his left and still able to stay on balance Tough shot Taylor got him on his hip and banks it in again Wade Taylor's having a monster half He's sitting on 17 and there's still seven to play preseason SEC player of the year It's playing like the early accolades promised He's got AM out to a six-point lead point about AM at the line they get 23 percent of the points from the free throw line. Another sloppy pass and a turnover. Seventh of the game. The feed finishes with Washington. Take him out after one to settle him down because another one may come right after that. Hence, you see Wagner coming in the game. Taylor from the logo. That was aggressive. They have the freedom to do that in large part because they're such an elite offensive rebounding team. Dillingham dishes to Anienzo for the easy look. Dillingham's trying to get through traffic. A lot of hand fighting on these drives. Shepard all alone. His third three hits the bottom of the net. Shepard's got 13. I love how Coach Calipari says, look, I'm going to take Reed out for a couple possessions and puts him right back in. Corrects it. On their feet in Nashville, they cut the lead to five. Taylor skating down the right side. Too strong. Dillingham has it and will push. Got Shepard on the wing. Takes it himself. Tough shot. Made it. Seven nothing Kentucky run. This is a veteran AM team. They don't seem flustered at all. Solomon Washington says we are not. And a look over his shoulder for the Kentucky bench. It's a flurry of activity in this first half. Remember this game at AM in January went to overtime, was decided in the 90s. Another Kentucky rejection. The arrow out front gathers, takes it up, and gets it pinned. Here comes AM the other way. Numbers for the Aggies. Taylor transition three. What a turn of events. The block on one side and the Taylor splash on the other. You use the word talent. I would take it just a hair further and say who's the most reliable. Yes. Because they are all talented, including Dillingham, who took a bunt, bump and still got it in. He said it's something we emphasize to our guys coming in, so I challenge them. You got to get to the rim. I, I think every coach emphasizes that. It would be coaching not practice if you didn't, as uh, Antonio Reeves throws in a three. But, Dane, it's one thing to tell your guys they're really good on the offensive glass. You got to keep them off. It's another thing to execute because they are the best in the nation. Yeah, and, and they didn't give up too many offensive rebounds. There's actually only six, but AM was five of six on those second chance opportunities and make it six of seven. Yeah, there's that seventh offensive rebound, despite the success they had running wide open in the first half. Radford crosses over Edwards and another Kentucky block. That is the eighth block of the game for the Cavs. That's where they get so many of their offensive rebounds. Those long shots, long rebounds become 50-50 balls that their big men expect. Obaski spins on Dillingham. Obaski behind Garcia's screen. Got all the way down for the jam. Where did that come from? And he tells the seven-footer on him, so... Six foot 11, I'll call it seven foot. You don't go to seven foot, that means you're gonna say, got me a footer. As Reed Shepard waits to check in to calm things down and get a better offensive possession. Hand off for Wagner. From 14 feet. Radford on the handoff. Guarded by the freshman DJ Wagner. And through traffic down the lane, spins it off the glass. Wagner rises. 
Another missed three, but Mitchell is on the glass. Dillingham shares it through Visish, and he throws it in. Everybody in blue saw it travel. Radford down the lane. Again off the glass. The touch for Boots Radford is simply amazing. He's got 18 tonight. Shepard, quick drive on Washington. Out to Dillingham. Great vision. And an assisted three for Rob Dillingham from his classmate Reed Shepard. Cats 5 of 10 in the second half. Obasaki. Drives on Big Z, goes right through him and lays it in. There's no rim protection for Kentucky. Taylor into Mitchell. Banks it in. What a play by Wade Taylor, the fourth. He's got a 22-point night. In that last huddle, Buzz Williams coming over to his team, hugging all of them, putting his hands on his shoulders, loving the effort that they're giving. Henry Coleman saying, guys, in this last 11 minutes, we all got to be disciplined. Obasiki drives with the left. AM 13 of 16 at the rim this game. Taylor from deep, and they are red hot from deep. Got real guile. Obasiki into Onyenso. Collects the miss. Taylor tees it up. Another one right down the fairway. He's got 28. So you get a fourth foul on your All American that sends him to the bench on that questionable call. And it leads to three points for AM. Oh, that's a tough break for Kentucky on that possession. Cats need to turn it up on both ends. Wagner out to Dillingham. A deep two. Good. Foot was over the line. With the sense this crowd needs to help this Kentucky team out, see if they can't get some tempo and momentum because AM has had an answer every single time Kentucky's gotten a score. Taylor out to Carter. Who is this AM team? They've made 11 threes in this game. For myself or others, this was a second chance opportunity as Wade Taylor steps right into that three, playing with enormous confidence. They kept the throttle wide open on the offensive end, thanks in large part to Kentucky's lack of days for man to man defense. Radford just worked Edwards, and it's the largest lead of the game for Dillingham. Over to Shepard, and now to Wagner who drives. Dillingham, top of the key, good. 21 for Rob Dillingham, five and a half to play. The Cats still have life. And just like that, Taylor torches the defense and throws it in and rips it right back from him. When you don't play much zone and you don't press often, you see some of those breakdowns. AM able to get some shots that maybe they didn't expect. This is the fourth 30 point game for Wade Taylor, the fourth, against a top 25 opponent. Dillingham with an answer. Can they find some momentum? Dillingham puts it on the deck, finds Edwards for the dunk. First bucket for Justin Edwards. Big Z into the lineup now to add some size at the rim. But Cal saying, plenty of time, guys. Just a couple of baskets. We'll be okay. <laughs> well, there is zero rim protection. Texas A&M is 14 of 17 at the rim. Now Mitchell inside. And Kentucky can't afford just to keep trading buckets. Between the missed one and one by Antonio Reeves and a missed open corner three by Shepard. You're accustomed to seeing those go down. A rare miss at the rim for Texas A&M. Five seconds left on the shot clock. Goes right into Mitchell. Banks it in! Here's Reeves on the other end. And he answers. Dillingham crosses over, one minute to play. Here's Reeves. They just can't get a clean look. And now Dillingham has his shot blocked, taken away by Obasiki off the tip from Taylor. Nobody can wait to get them in the tournament. You don't want to face them on your side of the bracket, but you know you got a chance because of their defensive miscues. Late surge for Dillingham, his fifth three. Top two seeds have been eliminated from the SEC tournament. First Tennessee, and now Kentucky.
Seven time cats have allowed 90 points plus in a game. Most since 1990.